Morning guys, Mitch here. Today we're going for an endurance ride out on the uh, S-Works SL7. Um, I have made a few changes that I just wanted to kind of briefly go over on the bike. Uh, based on my experience last week uh, with flatting um, out on the road, so a couple things. One, I am now carrying a pump, which uh, you know is just a backup. I still want to use CO2, um, but sometimes you don't have an option. You just have to make do with what you have. So I've got CO2. I'm also carrying a second tube now, um, just to have a, a backup of a backup. Um, you know, when you're another 75, 80 K to go and you flat, it's not particularly enjoyable to not have a backup in place. So taking that out, she's ready to go. Um, number two, um, I'm going to try carrying like a little thing to help me organize my, uh, my keys, my whatnots in the back jersey pocket. So I picked this guy up. This is a little Rafa, um, I don't know, waterproof whatever holder. So I'll do a video on this. It'll be uh, up at some point, maybe even this week, or it may be up already by now, but in that key, because I've been throwing this loose into my pocket and I, I don't want to lose that. So key, uh, some electrolytes, a 20 for if I want to buy a pop or soda, Coke. Uh, some band-aids I'll throw in there as well and my airpods uh, Charging more than anything and then these are gonna probably go on top of it uh, So we're, we're ready. Let's get we're all loaded up ready to go if you've made it this far I hope you enjoy the uh, the rest of the day like I'm gonna so let's get out there. Let's go have fun and Let's go enjoy the ride guys so we're out on the ride and we are currently about 20 ish kilometers in so the goal for today uh, I know last week I had kind of given you some goals on what I wanted to achieve on the ride and I noticed last week I pushed a little too hard I wasn't fresh at the end of the ride I had some mental challenges when it came to the flat tire and today's goal I'd like to hold like actually hold around 200 watts for five hours which is totally doable because last week I think I did two 236 for four and a half so I just need to kind of tone it back and limit the peaks and minimize the valleys and just kind of hold a nice, comfortable pace. Anyway, so back to the start of the video, how this Rafa wallet is, or Rafa waterproof case, uh, regular size that I have today. I also picked up the XL, just in case I wanted to carry like a pump or something. It's not much bigger. It's not a whole lot bigger than I would have thought, which is kind of funny, but Anyway, having this guy in my pocket feels good, man. Don't notice it. And I have peace of mind that I'm not going to lose my car key or my, uh, my house key or anything like that. The other thing that I want to point out about these cases, you know, you'd probably ask, okay, well, do I need a waterproof case? I don't ride in the rain. And my answer is yes, because where, where does all the sweat go? It goes on your back. And where is that case? In your back pocket. So if you're gonna put your phone in there, it's fully protected. In the event you go on a hard ride and you're, uh, 
<laughs> you're sweating hard, it's just one less thing you have to worry about, in all honesty. I like having my phone out uh, for taking pics or whatever. Anyway, we're gonna keep on rolling on this ride and hopefully the next time we'll catch up down the road, A, it's not raining and B, uh, I'm not gonna have to be wearing the jacket because it's gonna be warmer than nine degrees. So let's keep rolling guys and enjoy the view. getting to the top of this climb here and it just dawned on me to take out the camera show you guys some of the scenery around me because it just looks so good man look at this back roads of Alberta man doesn't get any better than this so just rolling through Black Diamond it looks like the street is actually shut down for like a parade or something <coughs> oh well I actually wanted to mention, earlier I had a guy uh, yell at me. So I'll have to check the camera, because I think it was on. Um, <laughs> I went through a four-way stop. I signaled to go right, middle of nowhere, no cars anywhere to be seen. And he just started yelling at me. So we'll take a look at that clip and see what that looked like. But. Uh, Anyway, off to Okotoks now. All right, so we are making our way through Okotoks and we are on the home stretch back to Calgary. I'm feeling absolutely wiped. So I think this is gonna be it for me until we get back home. So let's get there. All right guys, done the ride, made it home. I am absolutely exhausted, I actually bonked and uh, the last hour was real tough. I'm out of energy, I was just pedaling 100 watts, 150 watts, just to get home. And uh, so it's a lesson in fuel and uh, preparation. So don't go on a century ride with four hours of sleep and underfueled. Anyway, I've got my protein shake. I'm gonna pound this down and uh, go relax, might have a nap and kick back and uh, Enjoy some hockey tonight. So that's it for me. Have a good week and we'll see you Thursday. Okay, cheers guys.